This morning we're on location at Salem Harbor. Salem Harbor is fascinating to me as the, as, as the whole history of the city is. It is from Salem, actually, that the first missionaries were sent out from the United States. Uh, Protestant uh, evangelists were sent out to different places in Africa and around the world to bring the gospel of Jesus Christ uh, to those who had not heard it before. It's also a place where missionaries landed to bring the gospel message to this country long ago when the country was first being founded. This morning, the, the gospel reminds us of uh, those who were sent, that Jesus now in the, in, the, uh, in the gospel has been training and has been informing and teaching and showing the power of God in his, in his, in his capacity, in his healing and his feeding and his teaching and now has given the same spirit, the same authority to those disciples who were around him, who were following him in the time in which he walked on the earth. And when, you rec when we think about this, who was called and how, what did they do? These were just typical people from around the, the place where Jesus was born, where he grew up. They knew him and they got to know him even more profoundly as he began to teach. It reminds me that uh, all of us are called out of our out of our places to be Catholic disciples, to be people who follow Jesus Christ and share his message. God calls people from all different walks of life, from all different uh, abilities, and then sends them off, and gives them his grace, builds on their nature to give them the ability to prophecy. We must always be people who, with the Spirit of God, try to bring about God's justice in the world. And so that brings us again back to the gospel and it brings us back to St. Paul, who uh, is quite clear about the fact that he's called to be a disciple, even though he was once a murderer of Christians. If you read the early, uh, early parts of the book of Acts, in, uh, right after the Gospel of John. So in this Gospel today, we need to consider that Jesus says to each one of us also, that as disciples, as my followers, those of you who know about the power of God, the grace of the Holy Spirit, the power of the Holy Spirit, you too are sent out in your ability, with your ability to bring God's message to whoever wants to listen to it. And as I've been speaking lately, and certainly have, uh, certainly have made reference to that last week in the gospel, there's always going to be the possibility that there will be some people who will reject the message. They will reject the message because they don't want to hear it, or it's inconvenient, or they don't believe it. That's really not something for us to be concerned about. Our concern is to be faithful to our task. If you look at the past couple of years in our parish, we've been very faithful to uh, programs that invite people to come to know Jesus Christ, come to know who God is. And we invite them, much as Jesus, when, when he sent out his disciples, we invite people where they are, and then we expect and know that we're going to have to bring them uh, more deeply into a message more deeply into an understanding of who Jesus is for themselves and for the whole world. And so whether it's Alpha or the beta groups or uh, How to Catholic or any of our prayer, our healing, our healing ministries, all of the things that we do as a parish are simply efforts, our efforts to be the people who go out to the whole world. And so again, like the people, the first people here in Salem who were sent out as missionaries, we too are sent out to be missionaries in foreign lands. And that foreign land, brothers and sisters, might look like, as I've said before, our kitchen tables, because we've never talked about our faith in our homes. As St. Francis of Assisi would say, preach the gospel everywhere. When necessary, use words. I invite you to, uh, to recognize that all of us who have been baptized into the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus are also called and sent. And God has given us everything we need if you can speak and you know who Jesus is, you are an evangelist. And so let us too then be people who call others to Jesus Christ and perhaps change the whole world beginning here on the shores of Salem. God bless you in your efforts this week.